Boxing is the only sport in which you can lose every second of every round and yet win by hitting a knockout in the last second. It's the only place where a big underdog has a chance to hit the game-changing lottery punch. Stay tuned to the end of the video as we go through boxing's top 10 unexpected knockouts. In April 2001, Lennox Lewis loses his heavyweight belt in a shocking fashion when he was floored by Hasim Rahman near the end of the fifth round. Rahman flattened Lewis with a stunning right hand and one of the biggest upsets in boxing history. Oh, oh he's got him! He's got him! He got Oliver McCall all over again. It yes. is, yes. and Lewis has he's gone. gone. Lewis has gone. gone. It's another upset of immense proportions. Had a threat now. They know if they tag him, he's got it down. WBO heavyweight championship fight Tommy Morrison and Michael Bent. Betting underdog Michael Bent dropped Tommy Morrison three times on his way to scoring a first round technical knockout. Morrison got off to a good start, pinning Bent in the ropes and throwing him off balance with well placed punches. But he was caught off guard by a sudden straight to the chin. With Morrison visibly shaking after the knockdowns, Ben continued to pound him with another strong combination that put an end to the fight. From New York City looking to finish him off. And Ben just throwing nothing but haymakers in trouble. And Morrison is down. And the fight is over. And has won the WBO Heavyweight Championship of the World. A huge Right hand lead by Chavez. This battle between WBC world champion Julio Cesar Chavez and IBF world champion Meldrick Taylor was a historic event in professional boxing. Taylor was on the edge of defeating the Mexican legend. This is a masterful fight. Solid. Solid left hook and necessary chance to get back into this. Look at the speed of Meldrick Taylor's game plan to perfection. Whoa, beautiful Trading punches inside and Chavez again. However, Chavez broke the story with a powerful right across that sent Taylor down to the canvas with only 15 seconds left in the last round. If he gets up, he probably wins the fight. I can't believe it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Richard I'm... Steele stopped the fight with fewer than five seconds. Duba, go crazy now. All right, you guys, I gave instructions from the dressing room. Do you have any questions? I got a question. You got any excuses tonight, Roy? Let's not ask questions like that. Let's touch the left and go to work. Tonight, Roy. Let's go to work. In May 2004, Jones faced Tarver in a rematch. Jones got off to a solid start, serving as the aggressor in the opening round, using his trademark speed to his advantage and easily winning the round on all three judges' scorecards. Jones tried to duplicate his first round success in the second round, but Tarver stayed cautious as if waiting for Jones to make a mistake. Just over midway through the round, Jones attempted to hit Tarver with a right hand. Tarver, however, countered with a quick left hook that dropped Jones to the canvas. Sustained attack aggression. And there it goes, Jones! And a hard left hand! And that is the first that Roy Jones has And he makes it up! It's over! Jane Lady stops the fight! He's really been hurt. He's gone down before one time, but there was a perfect left hand. Roy never saw it coming. Touch gloves now. Making the most of your opportunity is critical in the sport of boxing. Andy Ruiz is a living example of this. When Anthony Joshua's opponent, Gerald Miller, failed a drug test, Ruiz stepped in and fought for the chance to become the undisputed world champion in June 2019. In the opening minute of the third round, Joshua demonstrated his power to knock Ruiz off his feet for the first time in his career. Between being in camp and getting right back in after he got this fight, and there he goes down! Andy, however, bounced back and surprised everyone by winning the match via technical knockout in the seventh round. Ending Joshua's undefeated record and becoming the new unified heavyweight champion. Look at them as 
the exchange here in round one. Arguably the biggest upset in boxing history, rank underdog Douglas shocked the world when he knocked out Tyson in the 10th round. Douglas was obvious from the beginning of the fight that he was not intimidated. He used his quick and accurate jab to prevent Tyson from getting inside, where he was the most dangerous. Tyson did put Douglas to the canvas in the 8th round, but he quickly recovered. However, just 35 seconds into the 10th round, Douglas unleashed a brutal uppercut, followed by a four-punch combination that sent Tyson to the canvas for the first time in his career. Landing these oh, nice uppercut by Buster Douglas! Look at this! He's not Mike Tyson down! I'm gonna make it! Unbelievable! 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 Buster Douglas is a new heavyweight champion of this fight was billed as the Rumble in the Jungle, an event that turned the entire boxing industry upside down. Prior to the fight, it looked that Foreman had the upper hand. He was younger, heavier, and had a longer arm reach and a stronger punch. All this did little to help the reigning champion. Throughout the fight, Ali did not leave Foreman a single chance. By the fifth round, the youngster began to tire, and in the eighth, Ali peeled himself off the ropes and unleashed a barrage of quick punches on an exhausted Foreman. A hard left hook and a hard right caused Foreman to stumble to the canvas. That was no phantom. That was no phantom punch. That was no phantom.